M0FXB, let's set up the APRS on our FT2D. So it's definitely working. We've just tested it. We did a text. So we just go F menu, Beacon TX. And it's just received it there on my FT5. And we can look at the list. Go F menu, and list. And the last thing it got was my FT2D, off duty, and it's got details. So if you want this to appear on the APRS network and APRS FI, you do need to have, you know, an ant a decent antenna connected or be in a location where, uh, you know, a station is, an, an APRS station is picking up your details. Because at the moment, this is just going radio to radio. So we just focus on the FT2D. Now let's send it, we have been sending it the other way. You just saw it go from the FT5 to the, FT2, so we go F menu and let's look for the list, uh, station list, and then we'll hit that. And look, there it is, there, Yesu doesn't say FT5, but there's my M0 FXB10, which is what this is on, and the details. So it's definitely working great. So let's just show you the settings for APRS. We'll go back back completely the first thing to do is i would say get the frequency in so 144800 so if you're in vfo a vfo b most people just do it on the b so vfo and then just tap the screen do 144800 back and then you want to be in fm mode next thing is hold down disp and let's go to aprs and just start from the top now a lot of these we don't actually change and this is my settings. If someone else is different, that's fine. So number one, APRS AF dual. So I'll select. I've got that set to all. Let's go back. No, press the wrong button. There you are. Number one. Or on. Not all. On. Back. Number two. I haven't changed it. That's what it says. Go back, haven't changed filter, modem, you definitely need to turn that on. 1200, I set mine to. You turn, you change it with the channel changer at the top. Message flash, I've left, message group, I've left. Message text, hi, I've put in there, you just tap it. You can type here, hi. A press mute so you don't hear that loud screechy sound. Like that. <laughs> and that was um, my FT2 actually. Must be on Beacon TX. Pop up, just deciding how long you want to see those pop ups and what information is going to be in there. APRS ringer, back, the units, whether it's, you know, these are all the units, you can choose which one units you'd like to show, didn't really change that, TX delay is at 300 milliseconds, beacon info, so ambiguity, if that's on, it doesn't give you exact location, Beacon interval, I haven't really touched that, but it says five minutes. Beacon status, I just set mine to on. Beacon TX, manual. Comport settings, I haven't touched that. Path, I haven't touched that. GPS setup, I haven't touched that at all. GPS power, yeah, you definitely want that on. GPS on, change it with your channel changer. Go back, GPS time set, auto. GPS units, there you go, you can choose that. 
call sign, that's important. So I put in M0FXB-6. You just type it away and go across. Let's go back. Position, my position. I've selected manual. You can store positions. My symbol. So I've got the running man. There is a chart to look up what, how to change that. Position comment off duty, which is coming through. Haven't touched smart beaconing. Time zone. Should be plus, I think, in England. But anyway, like so. And that's it. So the main thing is you've got your, you've got it turned on. Your GPS is on. And you can use manual position. And then for shortcuts, you just go F menu. That's your beacon TX. You can set it to auto. So that came through then. And it'll work both ways. Go F menu. Let's go back. F menu. Look for beacon TX. It comes through. Now, if it's already received it, it won't show the pop-up. You have to look in the list. So you just go F menu and you go to station list. Now you can look at message list if you go back. Like so, F menu. That's messages. See if you've got any messages. Now we haven't sent any messages. So we have a go at doing that. Yeah, so on the FT5, so we've just sent it a message. So what we did, we just went F menu, we went to messages, message list, M list here. And we selected one, and we just then we went to reply. Message text. You can edit the text, just push edit here. Let's go back. Message reply. And it does come through, that's messages. Then we can push DISP, and it's flashing as well to show that it did get a message. The LED was flashing blue. So we'll go like so, and then we can reply. I've just put hi. Then we can edit again. We can go back and then message TX. And then now this one's flashing and the, the message is there. So we can send message. So obviously you can do that over the APRS network as well. And that one, it even auto reply. Did you see that? You can set it to auto reply and they can go back and forth. So that's it. I hope this helps you set it up. I've not long had um, this, these, this ft2 and i don't really use aprs for messaging that often but i do listen i like to have aprs on the b section and then on the a section i tend to put my hotspot or my hubnet node and you know both these radios will do that there you go more info and we to get it on dual mode just hold down a b got dual mode then see so APRS on the B section and on the A we try and get our hotspot let's have a look no no activity there let's hit memory channel and oh, no, there's my hubnet node there and we need to get that in FM so we can hear it now, the volume's okay it's, it's better than the FT3, I would say. But the FT5, for me, has the best... Has the best audio, easily. Really booms out of the FT5. They've got something right there. The FT2. It's all right. It's still good. The FT3 is the one that's a bit tinny. So there you are, APRS working fine. 7-3, thanks for watching my channel, all the best.